Yeah, so I opened it up, took the wheel off, opened it up, and uh, took out the brake pads. I grind, uh, I ground off um, any remaining sign of brake pad that was on there. Um, I used a grinder with a with a flap disc, a sandpaper flap disc, to give it a pretty nice looking finish. And then I used a Dremel with a steel grinding bit to just rough up the surface a bit. Now I'm going to make my own um, abrasive uh, brake pad mix using, um, I'll show you what I got here, magnetite, so it's about 50% magnetite, got aluminum oxide, it's air eraser compound, it's made for um, any, like a sandblaster thing, um, so it's about 50% that, and then about 50% zeolite and like another 50% of uh, mixing them together. Everything's 50% because it doesn't really matter. And uh, what's going to hold it together is this stuff. It's a uh, cold weld. It's like a metallic epoxy. Same deal as like a JB weld or whatever. So I'm just going to mix it up and uh, hopefully it uh, does the job. The last time I did this it held up for uh, six months, something like that. Alright, I'm gonna get to mixing. I'll, I'll be back. Here's the finished product. This one's better than this one. Um, it's kinda hard to mix the the epoxy with the powder um, in a consistent way and then smear it on there. Like I don't know if you should mix the uh, the epoxy, like the black stuff with the powders and then put it on the thing and then try to work the hardener, the white one, in afterwards or if you should just mix it all together and hopefully be able to put it on the thing before it hardens. I don't know, I had a hard, kind of hard time doing it and I, I kind of got lucky on the first one and was able to, to get it on there pretty consistently and turned out pretty nice, I think. Whereas uh, the second one took a little bit more work and I ran out of, if I had more epoxy to work with instead of just the, the one set of tubes, it would have been easier. But since I was trying to conserve the and and stretch the epoxy and make it last as stretch as far as possible. Um, I think that made it a lot more difficult. So in the future, if I ever do this again, I'd probably start out with like three or four sets of uh, epoxy or tubes of that stuff of the JB weld. Put it into a putty and applied it to the brake pad. And I'll give these probably like eight hours or so to cure and then I'll put them on my car and see if my car can stop. And if it doesn't, well, you know, I've got places to go so I don't really need to stop I guess. Alright, so we got the uh, <laughs> we got the homemade brake pads uh, installed now. And we're just gonna throw the tire on and see if uh, see if we can stop. <laughs> So I don't know if you can see them in there, but yeah, that's the homemade abrasive in there. And I got a little bit of lubricant in there. I took out the caliper and I polished it up, gave it a nice uh, WD-40 job and wiped it down with a rag and re-greased everything. So, yeah, all right. We're just gonna throw the tire on there and uh, give it a whip. Yeah, I was just pumping the brakes because it felt soft at first when I was pressing on the brakes because I had uh, compressed the the uh, uh, whatever you call it, the caliper piston thing on the brakes with a C-clamp so that I could uh, get the uh, brake caliper thing back on. Anyways, let's go take her for a ride. Let's see if I can stop. Hey, 
Yay, the brakes work. They didn't make any funny sounds either. So, I'm just gonna back her on up. And turn the lights on. There we go. Brakes work. Second gear. And let's stop. Oh yeah. They sound a little growly, but oh, it's hard to drive when pull the camera. Yeah, the brakes sound a little bit growly, but that's okay. Oh yeah, I can't complain about those brakes. They seem to be fine. Sweet. All right, let's swing her on back to the home. Frontier, front, home on the range, whatever the fuck you want to call her. I don't want to push the brakes too hard, just, just right off the bat, because um, I want to give the epoxy a good chance to harden all the way. Well, yeah, they're functional. They're a hell of a lot better than they were. They were growling up a storm when I took the the brake pad off the first time um, when I first started this project this morning. Oh man, there was huge chunks of the brake pad missing. Like just chunkified, straight chunkified. Oh yeah, there's a stop sign here, but I'm just gonna blow on through because that's the way I do. I'm a fuck about a break stop ninja. Oh yeah, what you beeping about? Oh, I don't have a seatbelt on. Oh yeah, the brakes they work. Sweet. <laughs> 